Welcome back. About a month after uh, streaming giant Spotify announced an acquisition uh, for Betty Labs, the company behind the live streaming audio app Locker Room, which is similar to Clubhouse, uh, Spotify is reportedly doubling down on efforts on that side of the business uh, with some big hiring plans to take on Clubhouse and the lead that that company has built in live streaming audio that lets people set up the essential equivalent of basically calling in uh, radio shows, what we used to do, now potentially able to do it on Clubhouse and now Locker Room. And for more on Spotify's plans in that space, I want to bring on Yahoo Finance's tech editor, Dan Howley, who has the details. Dan? Yeah, they're uh, going to be hiring more than about 100 people to be playing in this uh, kind of live audio space that, as you said, Clubhouse seems to have really managed to blow up. Uh, just, you know, to give you an idea, Clubhouse wasn't really uh, that popular until, you know, early this year uh, outside of the kind of Silicon Valley bubble that it uh, had existed in. Uh, you had to have invites. You had to know someone. Uh, but now that it's opened up a little bit more, uh, it really is kind of getting the space going a lot more. And seemingly the success is drawing other companies that work in the audio subscription area to say, look, we have to get in this uh, as well. If it does end up being a major win for Clubhouse, they don't want to be left behind. So uh, Spotify, obviously doing this, one of the biggest names uh, in streaming music. Uh, they also have their successful podcast service. If you're in that, you might as well be getting into live audio then uh, because they want to be the go-to for audio experiences for consumers around the world. And they have plenty of competitors already, but they still are managing to outwit them uh, at certain points. So I think the idea that they're going to be pushing into this category uh, and really making a, a large hiring push with those 100 new employees, I think speaks to how serious they see this as a potential threat and why they think they should be doing this. Dan, do you think this move to compete with Clubhouse will be successful for Spotify? Because we've seen other social media companies try to create copycat services like Facebook Reels with TikTok. Of course, that's in a little bit different of a space, but we've seen those not really gain too much traction. So what do you think are the prospects for this move? I mean, it's Spotify, right? It's the, the largest uh, streaming service in the world. I think they, if anyone are going to succeed at taking on something like a clubhouse, it's going to be them. And look, you know, we talk about clubhouses if everybody knows what it is. Nobody, you know, ask your parents. They have no idea what that is. Ask them what Spotify is, and they know exactly what that is. I think that really is what speaks to uh, the ability for Spotify to get more people uh, into the platform than a clubhouse. Sure, Clubhouse has first mover advantage, but it doesn't have that built-in market already uh, that Spotify does. So I think if they're able to grow, if, if anyone is able to grow it, it's going to be Spotify and really hit a critical mass where everybody is talking about it uh, instead of just you know younger folks uh, and people that are really plugged into the technology space. Yeah, or even further, the VCs that are plugged into the technology space and the VCs that basically made Clubhouse what it is, or at least got its start. Uh, and you think about the latest funding round there, when we look at Clubhouse at $4 billion, I mean, there's a lot of reasons as to why these VC and tech bros, if you want to call them that, that are on the platform are there because it's essentially you're watching it, you're being the platform and its users. But to your point, uh, Spotify uh, targeting this space for something different in sports. Do you think that the brand differentiation uh, might be strong enough there to to really say, look, this is live streaming for sports, and, and how Spotify is going to make its you know put its flag in the ground on that side of the business? Yeah, I do. I do think that uh, Spotify is going to be able to do this at, at a much much larger scale. Obviously, uh, sure, four billion dollars uh, for Clubhouse, but again, I don't think that the awareness is there of Clubhouse. Outside of uh, you know the the Silicon Valley tech bros, as you said, uh, or the people who are just more plugged into the tech industry, uh, I think if you look at anywhere uh, where you know people uh, still use uh, maybe Pandora, which obviously uh, kind of has fallen off because of Spotify, uh, I, I just don't see Clubhouse as being something that more people know about uh, than Spotify or that happening anytime in the near future. And the fact that Spotify is jumping on this really is kind of an existential threat, I think to a clubhouse, uh, there sure will be people who are more obstinate who don't want to move over to a Spotify uh, if they start to see uh, the kind of content they want on there just by virtue of the fact that it, it's Spotify and not clubhouse. Uh, but I think overall, uh, when it comes to the two, look, if I can get my podcasts, uh, my 90s pop punk or 2000s pop punk, and then uh, my uh, live audio, then in one spot on Spotify, then I'm going to go to Spotify. Uh, that, that's just uh, an ease of use issue uh, that I think is going to come up. Uh, and Spotify really does have that market cornered. All right, Dan Howley, Yahoo Finance Tech Editor, thank you so much.